to my channel where I do brief reviews of my past streaming game playthroughs. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell so you won't miss any of my upcoming game streaming review playthroughs. In this video, I played my first playthrough stream of the game Heretic Shadows of the Serpent Riders. I completed four levels of episode one titled City of the Damned. Enjoy. Episode 1 consists of 9 levels. For this video, I skipped the first level, which is titled The Docks. This video starts at level 2 of episode 1, titled The Dungeons, on which Corpus, the character you play, which is a wizard who arms himself with an elven wand, which is the default weapon at the start of the game, and also his staff. Along the way, you find many different weapons. At the start of the dungeon's level, I picked up an ethereal crossbow. In my opinion, this is a very effective weapon in the game. I use it very often in this level, which almost substitutes the elven one entirely. Here are some of the scenes of the ethereal crossbow in action. Very nice, very nice. Silver shield. What? Okay, so I, now I have armor. I have one armor also, armor. in this level, oh, shit, I found this? my first golden shield, which provides oh, armor. What is in that? the near room, I was able to find the yellow key behind some barrels. Right also, here. notice that weapons in some levels keep reappearing, and you can pick them up again. So basically, if you missed a weapon on a previous level, you will be able to find them again. Wow. Keep in mind that there are a percentage of secrets to find and enemies to kill, I, I, which I will be shown at the end of each level. You can use this information to make sure you have discovered all the secrets or killed all the enemies of each level. As I go further down deeper in this level, I started to find ammo for a special weapon that I will show you in this video. There we go. As I continue in one of the rooms, I notice that there is some sort of slime. Floating in the slime, there are some oval shaped objects, which at the beginning I thought they were eggs, but I was wrong. The eggs turn to be bombs, which explode in a chain reaction. Keep in mind that they will Much hurt better. you, and you can also use them so to hurt here? enemies. One more thing, the slime will drain your health periodically. Do I shoot those? Oh, they're bombs. They're freaking bombs. Oh, shit. Further, I found a room full of these bombs, Those are a lot of freaking bombs, and I use them effectively against my enemies. Blown to smithereens. In this room, there are three quartz flasks that you can obtain. However, you have to be careful not to be squished by the trap. All right. An important thing to keep in mind is the secrets. I found them to be very helpful because it lets you find ammo, weapons, crystal vials, for health and peace. In this scene, you can see how I found some doors due to having Man, a raven so sign or 
the serpent rider sign which is a cross trident which mainly switches have this sign oh shit Oh shit, what is that? The torch? What is it for? It revealed. There are a few Whoa. switches with the sign of the Serpent Riders that you have to activate. Then you are on your way there to you find go. the rest of the keys Blown and up to, to open the door to exit the level. Yay! Making progress. Yeah, so I opened this area here. There is a is particular that? trap oh, shit, oh, shit. that you have to be careful to avoid. The wrong move and it will flatten you like a pancake. If you are lucky to live, there is a nice flask to obtain. And remember the weapon that I was talking to you about? Well, here it is and it's called the dragon claw fist? and it's it's like a like a weapon and those uh the blue orbs are actually like the bullets like the ammo for for the claw right there we go and this is the dragon claw in action nice and i found a like map some kind of uh scroll Time Further up, I was able to find some yeah, time bombs yeah. of the ancients, which when used, they float in a span of 40 ticks. Then they explode, dealing damage. Nice. And it what can cause uh, splash like damage of, uh, in a radius. Map, Basically, you explode yeah. your enemies behind two smithereens. In this level, I was also able to find the gauntlets of the necromancer. In this level, I was also able to find some invisibility rings. And that's what, a ring? I got the gloves already. Ring of invisibility. How to use items though? The problem that I encountered was that I couldn't find the green key, so I had to backtrack and head to the beginning of the level, and I found a room that ha I had previously not opened. Once I opened, I noticed that there was a the green key and some other items, such as ethereal arrows and a tome of power. I got 15 health, and that's the green, the, the green card. Finally, Just after a freaking hour of looking for it, finally made it. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, guys, so make sure you do the, your research before you play the game. It took me a long time to find this key, and it was just because I missed um, to open a door of at the beginning of the level. And then a few moments later, I found a blue key. Yeah, after finding the blue key, you head back to the beginning of the level, like towards the beginning of the level. Um, you're gonna see the blue door. You open it, you go down the stairs, and then you're gonna see the switch with uh, the Finally, serpent riders sign the, the cross um trident stage. and then Yay. there's a switch and then you have finished the dungeons level congratulations yeah i missed i missed those those uh, three items there's a hell of a lot more secrets what